What's going on guys and gals? My name is OT, the Lord of Knives, and today we're going to be reviewing the Buck 110 Slim. Before we get into that, I just want to let y'all know that this is a brand new channel dedicated to knives. I've been collecting quality knives for about six years now, so I think it's time for me to get involved with the knife community. Well, a little more involved with the knife community. So yeah, um, without further ado, let's get into this Buck 110 Slim and see if it's the right knife for you. Let's just get right into the specs for the Buck 110 Slim Folding Hunter. The overall weight is 2.96 ounces or 84 grams, which makes us a very light knife for an over three inch folder. Uh, the overall length is 8.5 inch or 21.6 centimeters. The closed length is five inches or just shy of five inches or 12.7 centimeters. The blade length is 3.6 inches or 9.2 centimeters. The edge length is 3.1 inch or 7.9 centimeters. The handle thickness is 0.4 inch or one centimeter. The spine thickness is 0.11 inch or 3.04 millimeters. Let me give you all some quick size comparisons here. Put that all, we will get to that one. Oh. This here is the Benchmade Griptilian. Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Show you a smaller knife for scale. That there is the Kershaw Leak. And the Victorinox Spartan. Lastly, let me show y'all the knife that this knife was made after. This here is the original Buck 110 Folding Hunter. Um, it came out in like 1965. It's probably the world's most popular knife, definitely the world's most copied knife. Um, it is probably the most iconic American knife you can get. It has the same steel as this knife, which is a 420 HC, which is honestly, as far as like um, budget steels go, I think 420 HC is definitely a good choice, one of the better ones. Uh, the reason why they made this knife was to modernize this knife. As you can see, it's made with like brass and this is, I think it's called diamond wood. It's not actual wood. It's like a bunch of layers of wood that they just kind of compress into there. It looks really good. I have no complaints on that. But yeah, they made this knife to modernize this knife. As you can see, there's, this is a nail nick opener and there is no pocket clip it does come with a sheath but the main complaint about the book 110 is it's like seven and a half ounces don't quote me on that we will be having a review on that but it is quite a hefty knife quite a huge knife not a lot of people want to throw a seven and a half or seven ounce knife in their pocket and not everybody wants to rock a sheath every day so, Buck did the smart thing and modernized their flagship knife. It has a deep carry pocket clip. I personally like it. I like the little anvil thing. Better than this anvil thing that I picked up uh, that I thought was an actual usable anvil. Um, but yeah, it has a thumb stud opener. Uh, it is a back lock, so you do have to kind of work it to close it with one hand, but it's definitely doable. Here, let me do that in frame again. Definitely doable. You just got to kind of put your finger forward. It will hit that, that, this part of the blade will hit your finger and you just close it. Super easy. Yeah. So let's get into the ergonomics of this knife. So as far as ergonomics go, this knife is not going to be as ergonomically pleasing as the Buck 110 original Folding Hunter, simply because of the thinness of these handles. 
the original Buck 110. It has a very thick handle, which is very conducive to hard work. You can get a lot of purchase on the knife. It really just fills up your hand. Um, not to say that this has bad ergonomics. It's pretty good ergonomics. If you were to do some real hard work, I can see a hot spot kind of developing right there. If you were doing really hard work, but other than that, the ergonomics are not bad on this knife. As you can see, I have large hands. Well, it's kind of hard to see, but I do wear large gloves and there's quite a bit of or quite a bit of handle sticking out on each end there. The deployment on this knife is a one hand thumb stud with a deep carry pocket clip. This knife is definitely not like a super easy flipping folder. Definitely will have to give a bit of a wrist flick. Uh, if you don't give a wrist flick, here, I'll just try it out for you. A little hard to get her out there. I mean, I guess you can do it if your thumbs have been hitting the gyms, but a little bit of wrist flick, it's fine for me. It should be fine for you. Alrighty then. I just wanted to be honest and tell you when I first got this knife, it was the most grittiest knife I ever owned. It was like, I don't know if it was on buck or, or this is how the knife is. But when I first bought it, I literally could not open it. I had to like throw it as if I was throwing a baseball or something. It was the most gritty knife. It sounded like two pieces of sandpaper were kind of going at it. When I was opening the knife, I did give it a deep clean. I gave, uh, I hit it with some WD. And after that, it's been working just as I wanted it to ever since then. But just keep that in mind. It might be a little gritty, a little, um, just not the smoothest folder for you. So you may be having to lubricate it take a little more care of it it's fine for me so who is this knife good for i think this knife is good for a backpacker uh somebody who's really like weight sensitive uh i love to go camping i love to go hiking so i know how it is every ounce really does count this is 2.96 ounces so very lightweight for a three and a half or 3.6 inch folder I think this can do some like light food prep, um, light camping tasks, light hiking tasks, like cutting open food packaging, paracord. This knife can definitely do all of that for a relatively small package and lightweight package. Um, another person who would love this knife is a person who loves the Buck 110, such as myself. This is my favorite knife. And this was the second knife I ever got. When I got it, I loved it. I used it all the time, but I always did wish that they had a modern version with a pocket clip, um, a little lighter. Um, yeah, this is, this answered all my prayers. This was the knife I was hoping that Buck would come out with and they finally did in like 2017 or something like that. Great knife if you love your Buck 110 and you just want something lighter, you don't always want to wear your sheath, this is the knife for you. I got this knife pretty cheap as far as Canadian knives go. I'm Canadian by the way. Uh, I got it for 52 USD, which is 65 Canadian dollars a, and that's uh, pretty, pretty cheap for, for what you're getting. So guys, hopefully this video has helped you out on making a decision if you're going to buy this knife or not. I know I definitely enjoy owning this and I will certainly give it more pocket time until I upgrade to the Buck 110 Slim Pro with the S30V blade. So once again, this is a brand new channel. Any likes, any comments, any subscriptions really does help the channel. Um, tell me how I did in the comments. Tell me if you own this knife, if you think it's a good knife, if you think it's a bad knife. Let's talk knives. My name's OT. I am the Lord of Knives, and I'll catch you on the next one.